I'm Sifu Steven Perez from Southern Five Chinese Boxing Academy. And I wanted to address a question today that comes up a lot, especially with new students, sometimes older students. There's always been a significant debate about weight training in the martial arts. A lot of schools promote it, a lot of schools uh, utilize it, other schools are completely against it. Okay. So I just wanted to, ad to address it for in this video. Okay. Maybe it'll be of, uh, of help to, to some of you out there. So the argument that we'll hear a lot of times is that weight training builds uh, too much muscle mass and that slows us down. Others promote the fact that weight training increases power and endurance. So, from my perspective and mine only, I'm not a professional in the field of uh, strength training or kinesiology. Okay? I'm not an aerobics instructor. Okay? Uh, I don't teach uh, Zumba. I don't teach cardio kickboxing. Okay? I teach Kung Fu. So, I may look at it from a little different perspective. Okay? Now, the difference is, if we build muscle mass, massive muscle, okay, then yes, we, we do run a risk of that slowing us down, uh, okay, reducing our ability to, to be flexible, reducing our, our ability to do some of, the, some of our movements that we, uh, that we might want to utilize. I'm not going to say that anybody else is, is right or wrong. And uh, I've had 32 years in Nga Kyun, and uh, my experience is that uh, weight training does serve a purpose, and, and beyond that, it's actually a, a historical part of our uh, traditional training methods. Just to address that real quick, if we look back at uh, Shaolin Temple, and even today, they utilize stone locks, okay, which are similar to today's kettlebells. They have a, an odd weight distribution when you're holding them by the handle, okay, which challenges the body. These stone locks come in different sizes, okay, different weights. And this is something that's been utilized in our uh, traditional martial arts in, in Kung Fu okay, for hundreds of years. We, we have iron rings or brass rings, steel rings, whatever material they're made of. And the, the rings themselves, uh, aside from other purposes that they serve, they also serve the purpose of adding weight to our workout. Uh, when we go through our forms, we can add the, the iron rings for increased weight, which means as we go through the forms, we increase uh, muscle ability and muscle endurance, as well as endurance and stamina in an aerobic sense, okay? It increases the strength and endurance of the joints, the tendons and ligaments. Another aspect of it that is uh, similar to weight training, we, we utilize heavy weapons in our practice. Even a light weapon can become heavy over time. Okay, so same concept that we hear in uh, Western weight training, High weight, low reps, low weight, high reps. They each serve a different purpose in our in our practice. Now, whether it's good or bad, again, I'm, I'm not telling anyone to uh, to go against what their sifu, their sensei, their their master, whatever you want to call them. And I'm not saying for anyone to go against what they're teaching you. Okay, whatever your school's uh, teaching methods are, okay, that's fine. I, I say follow what's prescribed, okay, it's there, it's for a purpose, it's there for a reason. Uh, again, like I said, I'm, I'm no expert on weight training or strength and conditioning training, and uh, okay, I, I'm definitely not saying to utilize it in place of uh, whatever traditions of your style are. I'm, I'm putting it out here so that uh, you get some idea of it and because it's a popular question among new as well as older students, right? uh, can, I, can I supplement weight training, should I supplement weight training, 
there's a lot of myths out there to dispel that, uh, like I said, that muscle mass automatically uh, reduces speed. Okay, it's not true. It depends how we build it. What's the process? Just like anything else, process, approach, and implementation is uh, what determines what the outcome is going to be of of your activity. <coughs> Functional fitness, okay, current buzzword in uh, strength and conditioning training or in fitness training. It's exactly what it says. It's fitness training that has a function that serves a particular purpose or function. Okay. So what I've done is I've adapted uh, some Western weight training to uh, some of our Kung Fu uh, basic training. Okay. And the purpose is to add resistance to our to our actual training in order to build endurance, build stamina, okay, uh, build speed, build explosive power. Okay. And again, like I said, we have traditional methods, even our isotonic and isometric exercises. Okay. Over time, we'll build uh, good muscle tone, good endurance, uh, good stamina and resistance in the the muscles, the tendons, the joints, the ligaments. But I do believe that weight training can complement and enhance what we do okay, to some degree. So I'm going to go over some exercises. Okay. Uh, most of these can be used by any martial arts uh, style or system. Okay. They're, they're not exclusive to Unga Kyun. Okay. But you'll, you'll see where they serve a functional purpose. They're not traditional static weight training okay, or deadlifting um, of just curls, okay, uh, okay, presses, okay. These, serve the, these traditional western methods serve the purpose of building muscle mass or toning the muscles, okay, which, uh, which is something I don't necessarily condone in, uh, in traditional martial arts because it does have the, uh, the potential side effects. Okay? I, won't, I won't say that it's guaranteed. It does have potential side effects to slow the body, to reduce um, flexibility and speed. Okay? So when we do weight training in, in martial arts, we want uh, the ability to build, uh, to have it serve a function that's going to enhance what we do rather than counteract what we do. So we're going to get into it. We're going to do some upper body exercises to, to build the strength, endurance, and speed of arm movements and upper body movements. We're going to do some mid body or uh, torso training and the, to help improve our gain, our gene. Okay. So, uh, and we're going to do a couple of uh, lower body exercises to help improve our stances, improve our, our uh, stamina and, and endurance in our, in our legs, improve the muscle tone, improve our movement, our speed of movement, our uh, perfection of movement. Okay. If you want to leave comments, I encourage it. Okay. Positive comments, uh, those which encourage, which guide others, which, uh, which offer advice. Okay. Definitely post them. Okay. Uh, okay, the the goal is to help each other. Okay, so any anything that you can offer from a more uh, experienced, more professional point of view. If you have advice or suggestions from a strength and conditioning point of view, okay, uh, from coursework or information that that you've learned, okay, uh, help somebody out put a comment. If you got something negative to say, okay, it's up to you. You want to post a comment, go ahead. I really couldn't care less about the negative. It serves no purpose. It doesn't enhance or help anybody else. But we're going to get on with the video and uh, like I said hopefully you find it of use.